Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a simple and basic master material in Unreal Engine 5, which you can use for any textures you want and you can copy paste it into other projects to use it everywhere. Quick disclaimer, I got all this information from Punisher, check out his YouTube channel, his newest video explains the whole complexity of materials, but if you just want a simple setup where you can drag your textures in it, maybe play with a few sliders, you can stick around. First in your Unreal project, make a new folder, I call this one Master Material, right click and create a new material. You can also call this one Master underscore Material, and keep in mind we will never apply this material onto an object. If you want to create a copy which uses the settings of the master material, you can right click and create material instance. This just means this texture uses the exact same setup we have in the master material, but you can play around with all the settings in here without actually destroying the master material. First of all, this is super because it is non-destructive and it is also way lighter for your PC and to render it. Alright, I will delete the instance for now and just open up the master material. In here you will see something like this. Because I use the 5.4 Unreal Engine version, I have these little sliders here at the end. But don't worry, we won't use these, so if you can't see them, it's no problem. Now we can press Ctrl Spacebar and search the location of our material textures. In my case I use a simple metal material and I will drag in the albedo, normal, roughness and specular map. Let's drag and drop this one in here. And sort them like that, the albedo at the top. Then we'll use the specular map, after that the roughness and at the end the normal map. And then we can simply connect the albedo with the base color, the specular with the specular, roughness with roughness and the normal with the normal map. To now simply switch out these textures without actually having to drag and drop these in all the time and connect them, we can right click on one of these objects and convert it to a parameter. Let's call this one albedo because this one is the albedo texture. And as you can see on the left side here on the parameters we have created this albedo texture. Now if you want to change this albedo texture we can simply open up this drop down menu and search for the other textures you have. Or simply press Ctrl Spacebar, search for the other texture and drag and drop this one into the albedo. Let's do the same for all the other nodes. Right click on them, convert to a parameter and call them specular. Right click, convert to a parameter and call it roughness. And last but not least, we can do the normal map. Now to rename this group, we can go to window and open up the detail panel if you don't have it already. I plug this one here on this side, then select all of the nodes and under group we can change the name to textures. Now if we switch back to the parameters we can see this one is called global textures. This is great because if we close this, right click it and create a material instance and open up the material instance, under the details panel we have a new group called textures and then we can simply activate them and switch out these textures. Alright, let's continue again in the master material. Maybe you also want to change the metallic value, so we can drag out a line from the metallic and search for a constant note. With this value in here, we can change the intensity of the metallic value. So a value of 0 means nothing and if we change the value to 1, we have a full shiny metal look. To also have this constant note in our parameter section, we can right click on the constant and also convert it to a parameter. Let's call this one metallic and if we go now again to our parameters, we see we have a metallic slider but it's not in our global textures, therefore Let's organize this one again. Select our metallic node and under group we can switch it to textures. Now we can see it's also in our global textures. Alright, so far so good, but maybe we also want to change some intensities of the different texture maps. And that is what we are going to do now. What I normally like to change in the albedo settings is the saturation. Therefore, we need a desaturation node and connect those two. Because we don't actually want to desaturate our albedo, we can right click and search for a 1 minus node, this one right here. Let's connect this one into the fraction and let's drag out a line from the 1 minus node and search for a simple constant node. This constant we can change how much we want to saturate or desaturate our texture. With a value of 0 we have it fully desaturated, with a value of 1 we have it normally saturated and if you want to boost the saturation you can set it maybe to 2. 
To play around with this value in a slider, we can right click it and convert it to a parameter again and let's call it saturation. Now in our parameters panel, we can see we have a saturation tab right here. What I also like to change is the brightness and therefore we need a multiply node and plug this one into the base color. And here it's not that complicated, we can just drag out the B sector and import a constant node. Again, right click this one, convert it to a parameter and call it brightness. A simple tip to better organize your nodes, you can select all of them and press Q on your keyboard which will straighten out all the notes. If you then press C you can group them and let's call this one albedo. This group you can simply move around which can get super handy. To know which brightness and saturation setting these belong to we can select both of them and on the groups change this one to albedo settings. Now we know to which those two settings belong. Now for the specular and roughness map, we need to be able to change the contrast and the brightness. The brightness we did before, we just need to add in a multiply node, drag out a line from B and import a constant. Make sure the value is always at 1 because 1 is the base value, otherwise you will only see black. Then right click and convert it to a parameter. This time we can't call it brightness because the program wouldn't understand to which brightness parameter we would refer because we already have this one at the top here. So we will call this specular brightness. Now to change the contrast, we have to add in a power node. And again, drag this line out here and add in a constant node just to change the value. Let's put the value to one, right click, convert it to a parameter and call this one specular contrast. All right, to organize it, we select all of them, press Q to straighten it, press C to create a group and call it specular. Select the specular brightness and contrast node and on the group, call it specular setting. Now under parameters we can see we have the global albedo settings and the global specular setting. For the roughness map we have to do the exact same thing we did for the specular. So try to do this on your own. Alright after you're done you should have the roughness brightness and roughness contrast parameter and group them into a roughness setting group and you can see it under the parameters right here. Now the normal setting is a little bit different. To increase or decrease the normal value, we have to add in a flatten normal node. And again, because we don't want to flatten this normal, we have to drag this one out and add in a one minus node to invert the value. And after that, drag this one out and add in a constant. Put the value to one, right click, convert it to a parameter and call this one normal strength. Select it, put this one into a normal setting group, select all of them, press Q to organize this, press C and type in normal to create this normal group and then connect it to the normal input. All right, and there you have it. This is your master material with some simple settings and simple sliders. And keep in mind, you don't have to do this ever again. Now, if you want to use this material for another texture, right click and create a material instance, double click on it. And then under the details panel, we have all these different settings we have created. Just activate the ones you want to change, drag and drop your new textures into it. In my case, I don't want any metallic value, so I put this to zero. Maybe I want to change the albedo setting of the brightness, so I put this to 0.5 to make it a little darker, but I want some more saturation, so I put this to two. Maybe increase the normal strength, so put this one to two also and save it. And after that, you can simply drag and drop this material instance you created onto your object and you have it. All right, this was it for this tutorial. I hope you could create your own master material in Unreal Engine. Maybe you understand the material settings a little bit better. As always, if you have any questions, write them in the comments and I see you the next time. Peace out.